Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to apply shift reduce or bottom up parsing to validate the given input with respect to the given grammar. This is the solved example number 4. The link for other solved example is given in the description below. In this case, we have been given a grammar. It contains actually two grammars. The first one is statement name equals to expression that's a one grammar the second one is expression can be a number it can be a expression plus number uh, expression minus number and this particular name can be either Fred John or Scott in this case so this is the grammar given to us given this particular grammar we want to validate this particular input that is Fred is equal to 14 plus 23 minus 11 plus 7 here if it is valid, uh, we have to draw this particular parse tree in this case. Now, uh, in this case, uh, we have to start with this uh, particular stack, input buffer and action. Initially, stack contains uh, nothing and input buffer contains the input. Now, uh, because we don't have anything on the stack, we cannot apply any rule here. So, we will perform the shift operation first. This thread will be uh, pushed to this particular stack top. Now, once you see this particular thing, uh, we have left with uh, uh, the remaining part of the input. Uh, if you see the stack top, the thread is present. This particular thread can be reduced to name here because we have an, a rule called as name thread here. So, the thread was reduced to name. That is what I have written here. The input is remains as it is. Now, we will shift the next token that is equal to. This is the remaining part of the input. Again, we, because we have name equals to, we don't have anything to uh, do here. So, what we do is we will shift the next token uh, that is uh, 14 here. So, now we have name is equal to 14. Uh, this 14 is actually a number here. It's actually a number. Uh, so, this particular uh, number can be reduced to ex expression here. Number can be reduced to expression. So, we got name is equal to expression. Uh, name is equal to expression we have here that is nothing but a statement that's a star symbol but still we have some input here so we cannot directly go to this particular statement so what we do is we will take the next input that is next input is equal to a plus here uh, name equals to expression plus we don't have any rule here so we will take the next token that is 23 this 23 is actually a number so expression plus number we have a rule here expression plus number can be reduced to expression here so that is what i have done here now uh, we will take the next uh, uh, operator or the token that is minus here after that we will take 11 expression minus number expression minus number can be reduced to expression here that is what we did here now after this particular thing uh, we have to shift the next uh, input uh, that is the next input is after this 11 is shifted here we have left with uh, uh, plus I think I have not written here but uh, plus will be left here after that uh, we have uh, a 7 so once you plus and 7 is consumed here nothing will be left on this particular stack top here so expression plus number can be reduced to expression plus number can be reduced to expression here so we got an expression name equals to expression now we can reduce it to statement because we don't have anything on the input buffer over here so this is a very simple process we can uh, perform so that we can consume the entire input once the entire input is consumed we need to see the stack content the stack content is a statement here that is the start symbol the meaning is the input uh, string is valid with respect to given grammar now uh, we will try to draw the parse tree for this particular uh, uh, the numerical now we will start with uh, the first one that is uh, the first token is uh, Fred here so what we do is uh, we will create one node for this particular uh, Fred here so I will create a uh, Fred and then I will put this particular thing into a square bracket because it is the terminal node here and then I will go back and then I will see what has happened here uh, actually the name was uh, the Fred was reduced to name in this case so what I do is I will reduce this particular thing into a name here so that is what has happened and it's a uh, non-terminal node so I will put it in the circle here after that we have uh, shifted uh, equal to and then uh, 14 was uh, shifted here 14 was reduced to expression here so what I do is uh, I will shift this particular equal to here and then we have uh, shifted 14 this uh, 14 is a terminal symbol this particular 14 was reduced to expression so this is not a terminal so I will write it here now if you see this particular thing uh, till expression it is over now I have shifted plus 
and then uh, we have shifted the 23 expression plus 23 was reduced to expression here so first uh, we have shifted the uh, plus here and then uh, 23 was shifted expression plus 23 these all three were reduced to expression in this case so i hope uh, you got this particular idea expression plus 23 is expression here after that minus and 11 were shifted and then this expression minus 11 was reduced to expression here so minus was shifted here and then uh, 11 was shifted expression minus 11 all three were uh, reduced to expression in this case we got something like this now we will go to the next one uh, after this expression we have shifted plus and then 7 expression plus 7 was reduced to expression here so we have shifted uh, plus first this is a terminal symbol 7 is a terminal symbol all three were reduced to expression in this case now if you see the next part over here uh, we have got what is that called as uh, name equals to expression is reduced to statement here so we'll see here we have a name here we have equal to and then uh, uh, e here all these three were reduced to uh, the statement here so we will put this particular equal to here and then this particular name i will put it here name uh, we got this particular thing from uh, fred so i will put this particular fred over here so all these three were reduced to a statement in this case this is the root node actually we reach this particular root node starting from this particular leaf node we have considered this we have considered this this end so this is the final pass tree for the given input string and for the given uh, grammar over here because uh, we reach this particular uh, start symbol we can say that uh, we have uh, validated the input string over here i hope uh, the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching